Rwandan government has started taking action against a little-known fatal disease which has struck down thousands of children in the country's north. Nodding syndrome is a mysterious condition that primarily affects children aged 5 to 15 years. The main symptom includes repetitive involuntary nodding of the head, often triggered by exposure to cold or when the child is eating. Over time, it can lead to cognitive decline, physical disabilities and range of other health issues. Nodding syndrome has been a significant health concern in northern Uganda, particularly in districts of Kitgum, Pade and Lamo. The occurrence of the disease was first documented in 1962 in southern Tanzania. Then it appeared in western equatorial South Sudan in 1991 and some years later in northern Uganda. Nodding disease, which has no known cause or cure, appears to be spreading at an escalating rate. After doing my research, I found out that nodding syndrome may be an autoimmune disease in which immune system incorrectly attacks the body's own protein. Here, the immune system creates antibodies to fight off the parasites following infection with Onchosaka volvulus. What is this Onchosaka volvulus? It's an anthropod born roundworm that causes river blindness. The origin of nodding syndrome is complex and it may involve a combination of factors, including environmental and genetic elements. Research efforts continue to unravel the underlying causes of this condition, though nodding syndrome exact cause are not fully understood. One of the key notable factors leading to nodding syndrome is the infectious agents. Some research suggests that nodding syndrome could be associated with infections, particularly onchocerciasis, a parasitic disease caused by onchosaca volvulus. It's important that the parasitic infection triggers an autoimmune response that affect the nervous system. Parasitic infections can have an impact on the nervous system. Some researchers suggest that parasites may release toxic substances or antigens that could affect the nervous system directly or indirectly. Another key factor is nutritional deficiencies. Malnutrition, especially lack of essential nutrients such as vitamins and minerals, has been suggested as a contributing factor. Poor diet and inadequate intake of nutrients can affect the development and function of the nervous system. Nutritional deficiencies have been suggested as one of the potential factors contributing to the development of nodding syndrome, particularly in the regions where the condition is prevalent. Some environmental factors such as exposure to toxins, pollutants or contaminants have been investigated as potential cause of nodding syndrome. How does this name factor lead to the cause of nodding syndrome? Researchers have explored the possibilities that environmental toxins and pollutants or contaminants could be involved. For example, lead and certain anesthetic agents. Prolonged exposure to certain environmental toxins might affect the nervous system and contribute to neurological symptoms as seen in nodding syndrome. It's important to note that nodding syndrome is a complex and poorly understood condition 
and no single cause has been definitely established. Research is ongoing and scientific investigations continue to explore the potential interplay of these factors in the development of the disease. Now, since you've got to know the potential cause of the disease, how can we tackle or control this issue in our community? One key control measure can be vector control. In areas where the parasitic infections are prevalent, implement strategies for vector control measures such as use of insecticide treated bed nets, insecticides can significantly reduce the black fly population. This in turn lowers the risk of new infections and transmission of the parasite. More so, another factor that can lead to the disease control is improved nutrition. Here, if there is a promotion of nutrition program that provides access to balanced and nutritious diet, especially for children and pregnant women, proper nutrition is essential for well-functioning of immune system. Nutrient-rich food support the immune response making individuals better equipped to combat infections, including those associated with Northern Syndrome. One other factor that must be taken into consideration is health education. This plays a vital role in preventing the spread of Northern Syndrome in a community. By raising awareness, promoting preventive measures and empowering individuals to make informed decisions about their health. Awareness about Nodding Syndrome through health education programs can inform the community about what Nodding Syndrome is, its symptoms and how can it affect individuals and families. This knowledge can reduce stigma and fear surrounding the condition. The other factor that can help us fight the disease is community-based healthcare system being put in place. This can play a pivotal role in preventing the spread of Nordic syndrome in a community by facilitating early detection, providing necessary care and support, and promotion of health education. Community-based Healthcare services bring medical care closer to the community, ensuring the affected individuals have access to healthcare facilities for diagnosis, treatment, and follow up care. Psychosocial support plays a significant role in preventing the spread of Nodding Syndrome in a community. By addressing the psychological and social factors that can lead to the condition and contribute to its spread. Individuals affected by Nordic syndrome often experience mental health challenges including depression, anxiety, and social isolation. Psychosocial support can provide strategies for coping with these challenges which in turn can help individuals better manage the condition. Thank you for joining us in this eye-opening exploration of Nordic Syndrome in Northern Uganda. The impact of this disease on the region's communities is heartbreaking. If you found this video informative and wish to support those affected by Nordic Syndrome, please consider donating to a reputable organization working tirelessly to provide healthcare, research, and assistance to the affected families. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more insightful content. And don't forget to hit the like button if you found this valuable. Together, we can raise awareness about Nordic Syndrome and contribute to the efforts aimed at finding solutions for those who need it most. 
stay informed, stay compassionate, and let's make a positive difference in the lives of those battling nodding syndrome in northern Uganda. Thank you for watching. We will see you in our next video.